Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, as of late, the ODM leader Raila Molodinga and his Azimio La Umoja has become a center of attraction for small and upcoming new political parties in Kenya. And this is possible simply because Raila Molodinga is embracing multi-party democracy in Kenya. Then his main opponent, the Deputy President William Samuel Ruto, is a man who is taking Kenyans back to Kano days, the time of single-party democracy. That's why Raila Molodinga is going to have more people on his side because if you check in Kenya, of course, we have so many political parties. Therefore, going forward, if you are careful, there is much for Raila Molodinga to gain rather than what he's going to lose. Because the question is, not all of these political parties are going to have a presidential candidate. The question is, who between William Samuel Ruto and Raila Molodinga is this political parties going to support? Because Ruto is telling people, come as an individual to UDA. And Raila is ready to welcome anyone if you are coming as an individual or coming with your political party. We have so many political parties in Kenya. Therefore, it tells you which direction they might be heading to. And therefore, in today's event, it has turned to be of more success to Raila Molodinga in Pokot area after the West Pokot governor, John Lunyangapo, officially joined the Azimio La Umoja. Remember, Governor Lunyangapo was a member of Kanu party. After that, Governor Lunyangapo dumped Kanu. He went ahead to form his own political party by the name Kenya Union Party, KUP. Remember, when Lunyangapo dumped Kanu, many people believed that he's going to join UDA party. That's what people believed. But because William Samoy Ruto is clear in his mind that if you want to join him, join him as an individual in UDA. But don't go there with your own political party. So the only soft landing spot for Governor Lunyangapo is Raila Molodinga and his Azimio La Umoja because he is among the individuals who are embracing multipart as we have said. So Governor Lunyangapo in his own speech is acknowledging Raila Molodinga that the Pokot community has up to 300,000 votes and out of that 300,000 votes Raila Molodinga managed to gain to, to gain around 60% of those votes and therefore He's assuring him once he's going to work with the, him as the first maybe politician in West Pokot or in Pokot region to be a political party leader. And then that number is going to go up more than what he got there. So of course he might gain more because now this time round, Governor Lunyangapo is no longer in Kanu party. is now in Azimio. That means coalition. Remember that time Kanu was supporting President Huru Kenyatta. So Raila Molodinga definitely is gaining. And this is going to be more once he gets outside there continuously to embrace other political party in his Azimio La Umoja. So in one hand, Raila is gaining not just only individuals but even political parties. Then in the other hand, we have people who are running away from William Samuel Ruto because of his stand. Ruto does not want to hear anything to do with it coalition with other political party. So all those people with other political parties definitely are rushing towards Raila Molodinga. So who is to lose and who is gaining more? Is it the person who is gaining individual or who is gaining from other political parties joining with him? Because when someone comes, he's coming as an individual and with a few people who support him. But when someone comes to you with a political party, he's coming with a leadership of that political party and the people elected in that political party. So definitely at the end of the day, the gain is more than what is to lose in that arrangement. Now, as I sign out, I want to leave you here with the highlights of Raila Molodinga event in Pokot. Then a short clip from Governor Lunyangapo's speech in Azimio La Umoja. But before we go into that video, a quick reminder. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. Please consider subscribing so that another time once we come out with a video like this one, you will always get notified. 
again to all our returning subscribers and anyone, anyone who drop comment I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support again I'm requesting you to give this video thumbs up so that YouTube will recommend our video to more viewers also just a quick reminder last time I asked you to look at King Silas Oko TV the result was so much overwhelming thank you so much for everyone who reached out to him and again today I'm asking you to reach out to King Silas TV subscribe to this channel he is a gospel musician so let us help him also to grow his talent see you in our next video